Hello, Intimate Alien. It's so nice to see you again. It is good to see you. You are so bright today. I am. I am. <laughs> so would you like to talk about intuitive art? Yes, we would. It is a way to communicate up your alignment chain instead of down your alignment chain. And it is a way to use color to do so. Yes, and to, to explain it more in depth as to, to what actually doing intuitive art, how you can actually use it. Well, we will speak from our perspective here. So Rachel could say that I am up her alignment chain, right? I live in a non-physical world. I have the perspective of more clarity than her. Right, because I have fewer limitations on my perspective, we will say. Mm -hmm. So if she has a question, if she wants to know something that is beyond time or space, right? She, she from her eyes and her, her physical senses cannot jump through time. But through her intuition, which is her link to us, she can. If she wants information about that a conversation more clarity she can ask her intuition of course but she can also do intuitive art and we can give her a full picture of whatever she wants and so it is just an easy way to have a conversation with us mm -hmm. and for those who are not Rachel they also have beings up the alignment chain their own higher selves their own extended beings their own source energy and they can get the information from the those places in a very easy way yes yes i i uh, i really enjoy doing the intuitive heart as well rachel's method and um getting clarity that way and answers and and for clients as well which is really nice it is just so easy that is the thing that she likes about it. And do you know what? We like it too. <laughs> we like it. Love. We like it so much because we very much enjoy speaking with you. We very much enjoy, and I'm speaking of all higher selves. Mm -hmm. We very much enjoy communicating. We love merging with you. We love being a bigger part of your world and your life. We love when you ask for answers from an aligned place. We love, love the bigger connection that happens when you do that. Mm -hmm. And that is something that Rachel has not thought about before. Yeah. So your whole extended being loves when you communicate with it. You can do that from more than just intuitive art, but intuitive art is a great way to do it. I would, from the human perspective too, I would say that our being, our body, our human body loves it also. Well, that is because we love it. When you are doing something that feels good, it is because we are all in agreement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and, and we just soak it up right? I, as humans, we soak it up and it helps us a, a tremendously. Yes. Um, so I, I, I kind of have a half question about the colors, about the colors and the shapes. And of course, now, now we get meanings, like in intuitive art, we have, uh, Rachel has a process that takes us through to get our individual meanings for each color. Um, but then we have the shapes. And so how, how is it that you help us to determine what those shapes mean for us, to, to talk to us? Like, you're, you know, it's a conversation, right? So um, there's, there's us looking at the shapes and, 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 you know, forming them. And then there's the interpretation afterwards. And that's, that's an extension of the conversation. And so it seems to me that you, we know we have the physical drawing for us, the physical colors and everything, but that the, the conversation is happening 
outside of that as well at a, at a, at another level where in 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 our brains where we are receiving the information in our in our brain as well yes because it is a physical thing just like me putting on makeup is a physical thing you have more perceptions about it right you are perceiving it through more than just one place mm -hmm. it is a it is something you see with your eyes it is something you have done with your hands and you've touched the instruments to make the drawing you are you are perceiving it many ways and you are creating it there's a lot going on there and you are receiving the energy which you can feel you feel more relaxed while you are doing it and yes your brain is involved too of course because it is helping you get the answer you have the color sheet you have done the preparation right so there are a lot of factors that allow you to get a lot of information from it right and and that's that's the point i want to make too is that um the whole process helps us strengthen our ability to take in all that information from all different um perspectives and angles and methods for us so it, it enhances our ability to communicate with our higher beings like you yes it does yes when you are doing intuitive art you are merged with us yeah you are part of us yes and well you always are but you are experiencing the benefits of that yeah that's right yeah, yeah. okay thank you so much intimate alien um i actually have a, a personal question um for people who are in the state of stress and fear um that that is their normal what would you say would be the easiest way to help them move out of that state so that they can start changing their life well here we go again let me say something that might not make sense to you Mm -hmm. Stress and fear are never your normal. That is why they don't feel good. Mm -hmm. So we see you as you really are, as your whole beautiful, magnificent, divine being selves. And you are alignment, right? You are us. You are one, one being all the way through. Mm -hmm. And we know that you can experience these things which is why you would communicate with us on purpose anyway right if you did not feel separate you would not need to specifically ask us questions right so i understand but i must say that when you said that it did not make sense to me your idea of stress or fear is never normal mm -hmm. But you can have a pattern of being there, right? Which is what you are saying. You are experiencing life living out that pattern. Right. So how can you move out of that pattern? By starting to focus on something that is outside of that pattern. I, I'm sorry, the sound faded out. Can you say that again? Yes. You can move out of that pattern by focusing on something that is outside of that pattern. Okay. So imagine that you are you are going well let us see. It is so much easier than anything I could say. If you do not feel good, therefore things you do not like are coming into your life, which happens. It is normal to attract where you are, right? Right. You are going to see in your life the things that feel like how you are feeling on the inside. That is a fact. You create from the vibrational place in which you are. Mm -hmm. So, it is real that you will attract things that back you up. If you feel feel fearful, you will attract things to be fearful about. Mm -hmm. So, doing your best to remember that and ask yourself do i want to create more of this fear do i want to create more of this stress the answer is no 
then gaze your eyes upon something else. You need to so, look outside of what you have been doing. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm thinking of a, someone in specific in my life and um, how I can help that person get out of that. Um, and so if that person was to just even have pictures around her that that um, would take her out of that state would would take her give her something that she likes to look at yes anything anything yeah and okay. the more it happens the more momentum will build and to go in the other direction right now the momentum is on more stress more fear yeah it will take some time to start going in a different direction so it is good to to know that and not get discouraged but yes absolutely anything that is in a different feeling place will work okay i'm gonna start there <laughs> um thank you thank you very much intimate alien and that's um Invaluable advice for everybody who clips back into fear and stress at any time. Remember to have something that you like to to gaze upon or to feel or to do to get you back as quickly as possible. Yes, it is whatever you are feeling, asking yourself, well, do I want to create more of this? If the answer is no, if you are not feeling good, then try to think about something else. If you are feeling good and the answer is yes, I do want to create more of this, then you are you are in the right place, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It was wonderful to see you. <laughs> and you. Um, and so I just want to uh, remind everybody uh, that Rachel and you have the book in um, Intuitive Art uh, with um, a, a, a wonderful package right now that is, is a spectacular opportunity. And I encourage everybody to check that out and, and uh, participate. It's really a wonderful, wonderful thing, the intuitive art and the ability to talk with intimate alien your version of intimate alien and your higher self and to to have that support in your life is priceless all right thank you so much intimate alien yes you are welcome we love you and ditto <laughs>